Welcome back, and this time we're going to go a little bit more in depth on the uh, part that we're creating this time, or at least the plug that we're creating. So here's uh, just showing you know some parts of the actual airframe fuselage and everything. And the, the one we're going to be working on now is this door frame. So as you can see, it's the outer door frame, but it's on the inside of the aircraft. Now, the last time we were working on the, the outer door frame, but the outside aspect, so the flange that meets up um, with the inner door. So here is, is basically the door fixture and the trim, and, and I removed the trim there. And you can see the part we're working on is on the right-hand side there. So that has a bunch of the latches and pins um, that hold the door shut embedded into it. And it really is just kind of like a C channel um, with a flange on it that sits on the inside of the fuselage and then wraps around into the door frame. So that's the part that we're interested in this time. So here it is just isolated by itself. And it also has a little extension that runs forward to the forward bulkhead um, in order to transfer loads um, from the parachute if that ever gets deployed. So here you can see the cutouts for the door uh, latches and there's also the, the sort of shallower one there that's a cutout for um, the footstep uh, hinge mount point. So here it is with the flanges created around it. And I've basically just taken the fuselage side um, because that has the right uh, flange shape for us and I've kind of put it in that and um, you know ready to run. So parts we're interested in here are the actual flange that first bit of flange uh, to the right there and then sort of wrapping around um, and that's really what's going to be the parts going to be like and here is sort of the view from um, the the rear end of, of the door frame so with the with the right hand door frame sitting on its side and we transition from that to the actual real thing so uh, the rough cuts already been run and now we're running um, the sort of finish cut but still using the three-quarter inch ball mill so this just runs back and forth and follows the profile and the problem with doing that is that it cannot get the undercuts there so right you see where it's about to step up over that part of the door frame there um, it can only move vertically there so it can't actually get underneath when you're running one of these sort of three axis paths so that means I have to come back afterwards and do that and so uh, here you can see a little bit further along. So we're about, uh, I think it was about three and a half hours in. It took it took six hours to run this path, um, just because it's the step over that you do when you're running the ball mill here it has to be pretty tight in order to get a nice finish. Um, so that's that's the the ball mill part. And so now here we have to do the undercut. So switch to a smaller ball mill and created paths that specifically go and work underneath that area that couldn't get cut with the vertical pass from the larger ball mill. And so these aren't very difficult to do. It's just making sure that the machine's not going to bump into the foam. So you've got to set the angles and everything right and just mill the parts that need to be milled. So just on the flange there and underneath it, uh, underneath the door frame. So here you can see it's running the other side and it's just a bit of back and forth there, not a lot of work really to finish those off. Um, and again, just this was just the 3 eighths of an inch uh, ball mill running here and you can see it follows the path of that nicely and the machine's really well dialed in now. It's um, going exactly where I want it to go and we've been able to actually speed it up um, because the accuracy has been improved as well. And lastly, so once all those are run and the door frames done, the last thing is to cut out the um, little inserts for the door latches and the pin latches and also the little mounting points for the uh, footstep. So here you can see you've got the flat uh, mill and just running a little back and forth just to cut those out. And uh, then that's pretty much finished. So this will actually, from here we'll pull a mold off of this thing and from there you'll be able to create that frame and then that frame will be inserted into um, the side of the fuselage from the inside and you'll see that later. That's the update, thanks.